well, good morning from the off-grid chicken yard. The chickens are up and ready to rumble. Bun Bun's kicking around here somewhere, running around waiting for her treats. So I got a lot of chores to do this morning, so I'm just going to take you along. It's winter here in Maine, so it's getting colder, cold nights, the days aren't too bad but uh, it's time to start buttoning up the chicken areas so that they will have a place to get in, not necessarily from the cold because they don't really mind it, but from the wind because they really don't like the wind. So I'm gonna spend a little time in the chicken yard and kind of windproof a few of their favorite spots. I spent a good, oh, two years before we moved here off grid uh, looking into chickens. I wanted chickens very badly. Uh, I heard that they were great for PTSD and uh, anxiety and all the things. So, you know, just to relax you and just sit and watch. And it is amazing how just awesome they are to have around. They do poop a lot. That's something that uh, I had learned, but until you have chickens and you have to clean up after them, that's just something you find out really quickly. I don't mind it so much as long as I can keep a compost pile. It gives me some great soil to put in my garden and grow some wonderful vegetables for us to eat, can up, and keep for these cold winter days so I really don't mind having the poop I wish they would just poop all in the same area but that's not gonna happen so I have this little coop that we got originally for the chickens and I was not happy with it I think this was a tractor supply little house and it works great for maybe sick chickens or a mama chicken that uh, has eggs that she's sitting on and she needs some peace and quiet from all the other crazy chickens uh, it, or you know it just works great but they really like it we call it the summer house because the chickens like to just go in and sit on the roost in the caged in area or fenced in area and just sit around and look out and it's a safe place for them to go if they want to get in from the rain and out of predators eyes from above so I like to take some plastic and wrap it around this is part of my windproofing that I like to do I just add plastic around the whole front and bottom area I don't have enough plastic today for some reason when we were packing up our summer stuff and putting it in the we call it the Twinkie or the Cover It. I didn't pull out my plastic before I buried it all in there and I'm not gonna try and get it out. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna use what I have that I can reach and get around and we'll just get the lower barrier done and then I'll just probably purchase another small roll of plastic to put in around. Another thing that I like to use, which you'll see me using a little bit later on is uh, grain sacks we get a lot of those the chicken feed uh, comes in those and they work wonderful as wind barriers as well it doesn't let the light in so much so I like to put the plastic on this side where the Sun shines the most so that they can still get their sunshine because they do like it and it does help them create those yummy eggs that we like to eat Another thing I didn't realize about chickens is that they are very nosy. They like to be in the middle of everything. If we get the tractor out, boy, they're in the middle of it. If we do anything in the, in the yard, uh, it's their yard. They do their thing and they want to know what in the heck you're up to. So this girl here is molting and so I like to give them some extra treats to, protein treats to give them all the tools that they need along with good food to help them grow some wonderful feathers and those yummy eggs. Try to keep them healthy 
and happy. It only takes a little while to get all this set up, really. It's just a chore that you have to do in the wintertime around here, or I like to do. You don't necessarily have to, but they really enjoy going in here, so I try to keep it open for much of the winter. Of course, once we get a ton of snow, it gets a little bit harder, but we figure it out. I have noticed that Bun Bun likes to get in here. She is kind of a free range bunny. Not kind of, she is a free range bunny and she does what she wants. She has a couple little hutches in the, in the, in the coop area and she also has some just in brush piles that we have out and about. But she pretty much just does her own thing. So I think covering this in with uh, something just to keep the, the wind off them, I think that she'll enjoy that as well. in a very rocky area so when we first moved here and I decided what I was going to use for this is my chicken run that I'm buttoning up right now where their food and water is just outside of their pop door in their coop so they can come out here in the winter time and have another place they can dust bathe and eat and do it safely so these rocks around the edges help with digging predators and anybody that wants to uh, get in at the chickens because they are kind of at the bottom of the food chain and Everything likes to eat chicken even us. So I try not to remind them of that, but unless they stop laying and then I do but <laughs> They are uh, Really fun to have around they they give you lots of company when you're outside and watching entertainment know where Bun Bun's gonna be. Evidently she wants to be on top of this bucket this morning in the sun. She loves to sit outside the chicken coop and wait for the chickens to come out in the morning and uh, run around with them, eat grass, whatever they can find. So it's always fun to try and find out where she's gonna be in the morning. She does chase me down for her banana chip treats that I get at Dollar Tree. They're little dried banana chips and she adores those along with carrots and apples. She is a chicken uh, rabbit, basically. She thinks she's a little of both, I guess. we added these silly little creatures to our homestead they have been a great source of entertainment and fun and also very relaxing especially for bun look at her sitting there having a nap so sweet but we really enjoy our morning breakfasts with our fresh eggs every morning from our feathered friends <laughs> 